Oh, here, you want my ID? There you go. Here's my ID. And just so everybody can see what he just saw, woo! I, I tell you what, Jerry, you might want to get your supervisor. What's going on, guys? Our next video comes to us from Constitutional Auditor. Now, I need to say this. The views expressed by third parties in these videos uploaded by Disorderly Product News do not necessarily reflect the views of disorderly product news i gotta say that because like my man biggie once said more viewers more problems anyways this is a fantastic video in which constitutional auditor plays a game at a traffic stop called which one of you officers wants to make me a millionaire he also sent me this email again these are his words that's me in the video, and the next day, this cop and his sergeant pulled guns on me. So without further ado, let's get into the show. Disorderly product news is in here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Disorderly, if you got, listen, if you got time to subscribe to Disorderly Product News, I mean, this guy is... You know, you guys got these, they're in Chicago, and they got these Chicago accents, which I love right off the bat anyway, and they add humor, but they know their stuff, they're articulate, they can be firm when it's necessary, they can be lighthearted when it's necessary. Yeah, I went through his channel and I've been binge watching all day, so if I didn't answer some of your phone calls today, that's probably because I was really stuck on this guy's channel. Disorderly product news. This guy is great. Do you watch disorderly product news out of Chicago? No, I haven't. I uh, haven't seen that. Edition of Who Wants to Make Me a Millionaire? And our first contestant, it is this pork chop right now. I'll narrate this part because uh, the auditor has uh, music playing in the background, and I can't have that on the video. But he basically just ignores the officer at his window. He doesn't say anything. The officer doesn't say anything. And then... The dog barks at him. Get your ass off my truck, Jerry! I uh, you can see that, but he's leaning against my truck. What, what's that, pork chop? W what do you need, Jerry? What can I do for you? Oh, what, what do you need, Jerry? Can I see some ID, please? Oh, uh, for what? Because you're blasting your music. Oh, really? That's a crime? It is a crime, actually. Really? <laughs> Did you have, do you have a decimal meter? It's not a decimal meter. It's the distance from the vehicle. Oh, really? I believe it's 20, 25 feet. I can hear you way back there. So, I'm trying to give you a warning on that. Oh, here, you want my ID? Shit. There you go. Here's my ID. ID. Oh, well, this is my ID. Okay. Oh. And just so everybody can see what he just saw. So what he uses for ID, he claims is uh, this. I hereby invoke my constitutional rights as follows. First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Fifth Amendment, Sixth Amendment. To the Constitution of the United States of America. If you choose to violate these rights, I will charge you with uh, 18 U.S.C. 13 242, 18 U.S.C. 113 B 2331. Then I will sue you in federal court with this 42 U.S.C. 21 1983 and 1984. Choose wisely. 1983 is a common constitutional rights uh, violation federal lawsuit. It's a deprivation of uh, constitutional uh, rights under color of law. 1984, I'm not sure what that is. I think he might have meant 1981 because um, that's a violation of civil rights. So 1983 is a violation of civil liberties under color of law. 
1981 is a violation of civil rights. I'm not sure what 1984 is. He'd have to maybe explain that in the comments section. Because I am unfamiliar with that. I, I tell you what, Jerry, you might want to get your supervisor. Hands off my car. All right, do you need me to call the sheriff on your ass? You terrorist. Oh, we got another pork chop. Oh, it's the pork chop from earlier. It's Tyler. 2187. It's Tyler 2187. Is that you, Tyler? Hello again. Hello again, indeed. What are you guys doing? Oh, this guy's your partner? So, if he's your partner, why isn't he the one back there sitting with you, making sure that people weren't doing bad stuff? I can't really hear you. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I've already requested a supervisor. So you might want to get with someone with some stripes on their sleeve. I've already asked that guy. It's on video. You guys might want to make real careful what you're doing. How are you doing, sir? What you doing, Jerry? You trying to illegally obtain information? Oh. Can I see your VIN, please? Nope. Your VIN has to be uh, visible at all times. Oh, you're going to have to close that one, bud. I can close it. It's a traffic law. Huh? Well, that's a traffic law. Here's my law right here, buddy. You know, sir, I'm not interested in making life visible for you or myself. Oh, yeah. Keep your music can down, please. Oh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't pay attention to pigs. Sorry. Okay. Please keep the music down, or otherwise we're going to have to deal with it differently. Oh, no, no, all right? No. I don't listen to you. Okay. You listen to me. That's fine. That's okay. Fine. You're dismissed. Have a good day. Okay. Thank you very much. Can I see this VIN, please? No. Can I see the VIN? No. Oh. You are. I'm the Lakewood Police Department. I don't give a Do you need, do you have a warrant, bitch? I don't need a warrant for that. Yeah, you do. Okay. Go, go get your right now. Why don't you go get them? So. Oh, really? Yeah. Is, is that your... Do you know what amenable means? I don't even know how to spell it. No, I don't Good, know. I don't give a how to spell it. Do you know what it means? No, it means you're supposed to be courteous. And you're supposed to do what I tell you. I don't think that's how it works, sir. Oh, yes it is. You want, you want me to quote case law? Sure. Okay, fine. I want any quote case law to you. Oh. Are you guys illegally obtaining information? Oh, you just got it up with uh, uh, McNally versus United States. You have a good day. U.S. versus Sharp. You, you want to keep going? <laughs> oh, who wants to make me a millionaire? Uh, uh, this episode will not end until they go, but. <laughs> I love being me. No ID, no ticket.
So there you go. That's Constitutional Auditor. He only has 36 subscribers. Go on over there and tell him Disorderly Product News sent you. Let's help him out. Now, you might not like the way Constitutional Auditor goes about things. He is very abrupt. But if freedom of speech was left to polite discourse, or better yet, polite disagreements, there would be no need For an amendment which outlines Americans' right to freedom of speech. It's the speech that we don't like that needs to be protected. No, the speech that we do like doesn't need to be protected. Before we go, this video was shown on my new channel, Disorderly Product News Presents the Caparazzi. I'm going to start showing some of my main content on Disorderly Product News Presents the Caparazzi. So... Go hit that subscribe button for this channel so you can get all that same great content as I slowly move some of the best content over to this channel. Disorderly Product News presents the Caparazzi. My name is Disorderly Product News, wishing you and yours a very happy and healthy, safe work week. Good night.